Hello everyone, Lightning Monkey here. Um, today we are going to be showing you guys, you NYCT fanners, you fellow, fellow NYCT folks. Oh god. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to get Reshade installed and working on your open BVE. I've had a lot of people come to me about this. They don't know how Reshade works. Uh, and I think there's only a couple or if not one video I found so far. Um, and that video was in Spanish primarily and the person didn't exactly talk. So uh, I've come to the aid of everybody who um, who's in the NYCT community and needs to learn how to use shaders for OpenBV reshade. Um, so uh, this is a tutorial for you. Okay, so to get started with this process, you're gonna wanna have to open Google right here. Um, and you're gonna wanna go to, um, hold on, let's just, Type in here, reshade. So you're gonna go to reshade.me and I'll probably put the link in the description for the website and everything um, below so you guys can go ahead and download that. It's a um, program by the um, company Corsair. Um, and it, it's actually really, really nice. And of course, advanced post-processing everywhere. That's their, their motto. So it basically adds shaders to whatever game. So whatever API you use. So Direct 9, it works for Train Simulator, like the base game. Uh, Direct 10, 12, 11, it works for GTA, although I don't recommend using that. It works for OpenGL, which is X-Plane, and the API that BBE uses. And it works for Vulkan, which is also X-Plane, but it's a different API. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and go to download and then um so you press download and it goes down here and then you download this uh so uh as you can see here i already have this downloaded right here the reshade 491 exe so you click that and it uh prompts you to run so you of course you press run you know your regular thing and then it says click here to install game and manage its reshade installation so you click here and then what you do is open bv usually and i'm saying this because it didn't do it for me but it usually will not pop up at all in this gamer application screen uh you might have to look either like you either might have to look harder or uh scroll through and see if you can find in the o section because it's um it's arranged alphabetically so you see railworks p uh you've got your g's and then you've got your b's and your a's so what you want to do is hit this it's browse and it goes directly into your file directory um so seeing how it automatically brought me here because the last time i installed the reshade it, it would install so uh it'll bring you up to your to your um little directory and then from there you go and you find your open bv folder for me i have it quickly right here and then you put it into the root game so i i have my things organized but you put it into here and then you click the game's exe file so when you find the root directory you want to click the exe file um and then uh also you also want to know where your open bv folder is and probably because you all have installed routes and had to work with railway folders, uh, you probably will know where it is, but make sure you click on your OpenBVE EXE and you press open. Then you choose the API that uh, BV uses. For this case, you use OpenGL. None of these other ones, the Direct9, the 10, or the uh, 12, uh, or the 11, or the Vulcan, work for bve it's strictly an open gl um api rendering api for open bve so you click this and then it's going to get you to a series of packages what i would recommend is you install all of the packages and see which ones that you like the one that i recommend the most is definitely the legacy standard effects because uh, those will come in handy with what um, you'd usually use um so you click all of these and then you run through the process so you you check all of these boxes and um you get all of these shaders ready so let me just click through here etc etc right here let me click out of google um and then if you have any custom shaders that it, like supposedly you know like you've you've um 
had a, a suggested shader pack from a friend, you enter any like zip download link or custom repository, which meaning like link or anything else here. Um, but if not, you press OK. So then it's going to keep installing. And then all of these, you, you want to usually keep them checked um, and don't uncheck them because then it doesn't install the specific shaders that you're going to um, you're going to want to use. So then you keep going. It's going to keep asking you. It's going to keep asking you again and again and again. Um, and by then, it'll just be a repetitive process of just it's going to keep asking you what shaders uh, until you get to hold on it'll come here uh, but you genuinely want to check that all of these boxes are checked so when you get here to the legacy shaders some of the boxes will be unchecked you want to double check and make sure you scroll to all these boxes and you click them in manually um, there's no check all feature I've tried uh, if you uncheck all it'll just uncheck all and make work harder for you um, there will be no check all feature into this, um, which sucks. I hope they like in maybe 5.0, like the stable, they come with a check all feature when you're installing. But um, as per now, just manually check all of those boxes that you need. So if you're seeing depth 3D, 3 noise, denoise, color fuzziness, and uh, just basically all of this stuff, you want to go ahead and uh, check in all of these boxes and make sure you've got that all set. So after that, it's done. It's installed. And um, if you want to skip the tutorial or go into performance mode, for those of you who have low end PCs, I highly recommend going in performance mode because it leaves your um, it leaves your setting or rather your frames. It leaves them unchanged. So for example, if you go into OB Open BVE and you turn on all these shaders, they won't exactly affect your PC as much as they would in. Uh, off of performance mode. It'll sure it'll use up a, like a crap ton of power or it might drain your battery a little quicker, but you can always just go to performance mode and your PC will lag minimal. So after that, uh, and you can also press skip tutorial because who wants to do the tutorial, but uh, after that you press okay and then you uh, click out of your reset settings. Like it's done. Like after that it's done. So, um, we're going to be opening up BVE here, and uh, just in a sec. So we're going to test this on the four line. We're going to go ahead and go on the four uptown. We're going to go right here, up here, and uh, this is my own custom route that I made, and it's not up for release, but we're going to be testing out with the uh, 142A, mine as well. So um, we're going to be testing the four uptown. And you see here, so uh, automatically this game is the game that I have, or this version is the version that I have my reshaded shaders installed on. And as you can see, I already have the preset fixed in. And um, if you don't like delete the preset off, it'll go into your next game. So you'll have the same exact preset as your last game. And that's completely fine unless you want, like you want to start from scratch and not have your shaders on the next time you load BVE. So uh, let's just let this load real quick here and switch to the BVE. So as you can see here, um, we have a our 142A loaded up and I'm just going to turn off all the shaders because mine as well is showing you guys what it is. So uh, you may have noticed from uh, Mr. 1960s, 1970s lover that he uses a custom uh, like set of shaders for his movie. So I use a bunch more. Um, <laughs> I use uh, a couple of things. So adaptive sharpen, which makes your textures and everything else uh, much sharper. I use uh, FXAA, which actually this improves uh, you know color radiation and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this makes everything much more scenic, dark. It adds a lot, a lot of um, change for wise to how BBE and the shaders receive color and how the post processing works in terms of uh, atmosphere. Motion blur, you can turn it on for a specific motion blur effect when you're flying through the tunnels. I do recommend this whenever you're in cab. Uh, whenever you're in exterior mode, it might be a little bit off putting, but when you're in cab, I do recommend this. Of course, we have the ever-famous video. Now, the intensity you can t 
turned it down all the way. But I like to have my intensity around like in the 400 zone. Um, and I, I like have like it's right here where you can have the headlights illuminate through me and they shine through the tunnel. So uh, the next thing we're gonna go over is eye adaptation. What eye adaptation does is um, say for example you're just waking up in the morning after having a dark night. So eye adaptation what it does is it gives you that effect where your eyes are kind of just getting used to the light so it seems brighter at first and once when you finally take in the light it um what it does is it, it settles down and it settles into what it actually looks like uh surface blur it kind of has this really nice kind of look where it gives the the surface less uh sharpened or less kind of rigidness than it um has in regular game TAA does the exact same thing. It's just, it's a little bit more just a general filtering and adjusting with the depth uh, perception in the game. Flashlight, of course, you can use this in many, many multiple uses. Um, you can use this in the tunnels, for example, when you're in cab. So let me show that off right here. Uh, when you're in cab, it acts as a headlight reflection down the tunnels. Uh, and when you're in exterior, it acts like when you are checking down the train. Uh, so here we're gonna get to something that uh, is personally recommended on only exterior because it will look weird on the interior. MXAO is the Marty McFly shadow. So it adds shadow, like it basically, it just adds shadows all over the place. You can see the difference down here. So you don't have to add artificial shadows in PVE because shadows are added all over the place. So on the, the uh, walls, on the, on the tunnels, on the pillars, even on the signals. And it makes the game look really nice. The only problem is when you see I go into cab, the shadows appear behind the cab because of how light your screen is. And basically it makes the texture look trans as it's as transparent. So that's what, like, you can't basically do that MXAO stuff uh, in cab, but you can definitely do it in exterior. Um, when I'm underground or when I'm running routes like this, I turn on adaptive fog because I don't want to see the entire tunnel ahead of me. Uh, usually two steps will do it and uh, you can change the color of the fog. Uh, I do advise when you get outside though, like turn it off. Like it's not it's not going to do anything but make your game look really stupid when you get outside. Uh, uh, and as per my personal shaders, that's it. Like that's exactly what I use for my set when it comes to BBE. Uh, I don't know what other people use when they haven't set it up. But um, uh, that's my personal preference for shaders. And that's how you get reshade working. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say to uh, have the tutorial done because the tutorial is a kind of lengthy process and you could literally just press skip tutorial at the start of it. Um, and you could go straight into playing with shaders and seeing how you like things and uh, how you make your uh, BBE look great like how I did. But um, this has been a great time kind of just teaching you guys all how to do shaders because I've had a lot of people ask me how do you set them up and well I mean here's a video and I'll probably caption this for people who can't understand what I'm saying uh, even though my mic is probably really high quality and you guys can probably hear. But um, yeah, uh, thank you all for watching this video. I hope this helped a lot of you because a lot of you have been having problems with blue shade and it probably is for the better that I did this. So uh, I'm always glad to help, and uh, I hope you guys stay tuned because the 600 subscriber special will come up. And uh, yeah, subscribe, hit that like button, comment how you feel about this video. If you're having any trouble, please, please go in the comment box. I will respond as soon as possible. Um, and thank you for watching, enjoy.